I told you, no border patrol, none, none. We were 90 miles outside the border, and I was going to get ready to gripe at them for knowing we're U.S. citizens and wanting to search our vehicle. They just waved us through. There was one guy. He used to be about 20. Agents threatened with firing after photos leak. Sheriff, feds should pay for housing. Feds drop plane loads of illegals in El Paso. You are free. You can leave. Hundreds more shipped to Arizona. I drove by a Home Depot this morning and was late to work. So I didn't pull over and get video. I saw literally, it looked like 100 illegals standing there. You wonder why unemployment's so bad? I'm not even against them, folks. The third world's collapsing under globalism, and, and the borders are wide open. This is the takeover. Growing concerns over diseases. Oh, yeah, leprosy, drug immune TB, you name it. It's here. Flesh-eating bacteria, all sorts of weird amoebas out of South America. No end in sight for dumping policy. White House launches program to provide lawyers to all the illegals. With taxpayer money, officers diverted from handling crimes. Cruz, Obama is lawless, responsible for crisis. Cantor, time to strike deal. <clears throat> yeah, the Republican leadership's going to come out and say, let's just capitulate because he's already legalized by fiat. You're seeing total lawlessness. Our military under NATO command. Al-Qaeda being publicly funded and freed. Prisoner releases that are illegal. On record. And Homeland Security in the sitcoms, the dramas, the cartoons, the news, the, 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 the Patriots are going to start shooting cops. Guys in tricorder hats on Green Lantern cartoon, killing cops. Shooting at cops. And I said, it's either going to be a stage false flag, you can see the pre-programming. A two-year-old could see this if you were conscious. Or they know with their programming that there's enough suggestible people out of 315 mil that if you put enough of this out there, it's like suicide by cop. The more they advertise, go pull a gun on a cop, let them kill you, the more it happens. And you advertise, mad about what's going on, go kill a cop. You know, uh, you know that's what they say in the media, not me. Then they come out and say, Alex Jones wants cops to get killed. Don't be with the Malcolm X. Be with the Martin Luther King. Be nonviolent. When we are nonviolent, offensively, we have a right to defend ourselves. No one can argue with that. And I've told the police this hundreds of times, and I'll, hundreds of times, probably 400, 500, 600, I don't know. I'll say it again, and we'll mark it down right now. Here at 1147, 35 seconds, Central. On this date, Monday, the ninth day of June 2014, that you are going to start seeing police vehicles, i.e. deed. You're going to start seeing police shot up in restaurants everywhere. You're going to start seeing all sorts of attacks on police departments, you name it. And how did I know you were going to start seeing this? Ladies and gentlemen, when they put it out everywhere that it's about to happen and say when it happens, blame the Tea Party, and then it happens, and it's in Harry Reid's controlled state in his district, and he immediately blames it on the Bundys before anything comes out, and now it's blamed on me. It's so predictable, two plus two equals four. They need the police and the military to wipe out the liberty movement and we wipe them out. You notice the armored vehicles were no good against asymmetrical warfare. The Las Vegas police had those big giant homeland security vehicles from Iraq there. It didn't mean anything. The police under orders stayed outside for over an hour at the Walmart before going in. The first beat cops ran in and started shooting so the supposed people killed themselves. Who knows what's true? By the way, you saw Dorner, the cop, do this. Can we trust cops with guns if a cop goes bad? Was Dorner mind control? Was Dorner a setup? They weren't ready for it. It paralyzed them. They didn't blame the liberty movement. Maybe not. But let me tell you, this, with Jared and Amanda Miller, with the same M.O. of the Joker again, and the skinny man tying it into cartoons and comic books, with no proof... The local Southern Poverty Law Center, ADL, they're always the usual suspects, start feeding the Democratic-run CNN, raw story, all of them, Alex Jones, Alex Jones, Alex Jones. Because I'm the one saying, do not go out and randomly shoot a police officer. I've been saying that for about five years because I thought, if I was the globalist, what would I do?
I could see it in the movies and their internal documents. They were starting to promote it to the public, but telling cops it was coming that the Tea Party was going to come out and shoot them and kill them, and that and that and that every small town will be IED'd. Every cop listening knows they've been trained in this in the last six years. That you will be attacked by U.S. military uh, veterans. Total crud. So when it starts, that's the official story. It, it, it tells you. Every, uh, and again, if they hype it enough, there might be mentally ill vets or something that might do it. So you prime the pump like like a starter plug, you know, where you sit there and press on the four-wheeler to put some gas in before you start it. The opposite of the choke. The primer. They prime it and do a few more copycat cop killer deals. There's so many people on serotonin reuptake inhibitors that are in a dream state, they will march out like programmable zombies and start shooting cops. And I estimate in the Civil War, 300,000 police will die. I estimate if the military marches out against the gun owners, half a million dead. Two million dead on the side of the Patriots. Won't matter, we'll have another 10 million where that came from. But... It'll be a real war once they start it. We've got to stop the civil war. Stop the civil war. Don't kill cops. This hour of GCN programming is proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing your health and protecting your privacy and data. BlockItPocket.com. Use your phone safely and minimize radiation. Find out how at BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. We the people grow cotton, we fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Infowars.com, simple, primitive, but it works pretty good. Social network for folks to, you know, get together for dating, camping, shooting, uh, art, you name it. But hundreds of thousands of people use it. Guess what? The media is now saying, the White House connected groups, that Jared Miller had a Planet Infowars.com account. 
You know, uh, I guess they're doing a better job this time when they blame Popl you know, me for Poplowski killing the three cops and turned out he hated me. Uh, he reportedly wrote the police to kill or not to kill. You need to be a registered member to rate this post. And it says, I stand at the point in my life where I am on probation and selling marijuana. I take the urine. So see, again, this is what I said. Is this someone pushed to the edge, over the edge? Is this someone under or, you know, organic, ambient background mind control in the culture? <clears throat> or is this a patsy? And we just don't know. But it look, we, we launched Planet InfoWars back in 2012, and it looks like this was set up right when it was created. So that should be newsworthy. That should give them a lot of, uh, a lot of grass to make hay with. Let's do searches on comments under his handle. Now, <clears throat> well, I guess, uh, I guess I didn't get through to him that it was important not to go out and kill random police and to work as hard as you can to wake people up in the community. And I will say this, when you have militarized police, why do the Vietnamese fight? More than seven different cultures from the Chinese to the Japanese to the Americans to the French that have taken them over because they want to be free. You have tanks, you have men in uniforms, you have guys in uh, drill sergeant uh, hats. This weekend, I was at a hotel, Moody Gardens with my kids down in um, Galveston. And I'm going down to the pool and I have one of the hotel pool, I'm one of the room towels. And this guy said to me, hey, you're not supposed to have one of those towels down there. You know, you know, you check towels out from them. And I said, okay, thanks. He goes, they're going to tell you to take it back up to your room. And I went, okay. So I walk out. He's with his wife and his kid. And we start walking. He goes, what are you going to do with that towel? And I said, I'll just put it right here. There was like a, you know, a table there in the hallway. And he was like, what are you doing? And I go, dude, are you a cop? And he got real mad. And he said, yeah, what's it to you? He was like a muscular guy with his wife and kid, a Hispanic guy. And I went, man, I just knew. God, just mind your own damn business, man. And the guy started to bow up. I was like, dude, you don't have your gun or your badge right now, man. <laughs> See, you know, I can tell when I'm on the hike and bike trail, when it's a bad cop, you know, on a kayak, you name it. Just, they own everything. And then most cops aren't like that, but they're trying to hire cops like that. And a lot of people are getting sick of it. They know you push the public hard enough, you'll get a real revolution. And I've said it doesn't need to be killing cops. But this whole thing looks like it's staged, and we'll continue to keep an open mind and look at all the angles, but it's Harry Reid's area. It's right after the Bundy deal. Harry Reid said there is this domestic terrorism coming. These people are terrorists. Let's play that clip. So these people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. And I think that we are a country that people should follow the law. And what went up in Mesquite is not very good. I repeat, what went on up there is domestic tourism. Okay, Ter domestic terrorism, not tourism. There you go. Now, coming up, we got George Humphrey in studio at about 10 after with us. Former city council member, best-selling author, good friend of mine. I remember working with him in 1996 on Pat Buchanan's campaign in 95 in the primaries. He's going to be uh, joining us. Dinesh D'Souza, the persecuted... Uh, Number two documentary filmmaker of all time, 40 million gross. He's been indicted by the criminal operation for free speech. He's going to be joining us as well. But before George Humphrey comes on, we found a bunch of the clips from a month ago where I predicted the tragedy that just happened. We need a revolution Thank of understanding and of nonviolence and of freedom. Visit the globalists GCMI. are going to start a physical revolution by pushing the people. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach.
and that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares.